Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're going to be talking about two keyboard tweaks that have going to make their way into the App Store. You heard me right guys. A new iOS 8 keyboard that was used in the iOS 7 jailbreak is now coming to the iOS 8 App Store. The first one we're going to talk about is called Alt Keyboard 2. I don't know if you guys can remember, but we did a review on that a few weeks back or months now. But uh, what this does, it was originally designed by Century underscore NC and coded by James Long. The keyboard software adds three major new functions to the keyboard. The most obvious, uh, it allows you to type more, leather, more letters with one button and when you install it you'll see what I mean after you install it, this keyboard it actually adds another way to swipe up to type a different letter and it displays that on the actual keyboard itself users can also view the alternate characters on a single keyboard view like I was just discussing and you can you, you can even edit text much faster meaning you can copy paste select cut, and cut with the use of swipe gestures makes it much faster and my favorite part about this whole keyboard tweak is you can actually move the cursor around the screen anywhere you want to just by using the little grabbers on each side of the keyboard with your thumbs to swipe back and forth and position it just exactly where you want it now when all keyboard was in the app store I'm sorry alt keyboard 2 was in the was in the city tweak store it was 299 we don't have a confirmation for price yet but I'm assuming it'll probably be in that vicinity the second one that's common is called swipe selection pro and this was a huge hit when it first came out it was developed by Kyle Howes and swipe selection pro allows users to swipe over the keyboard to move the cursor wherever they want it to be instead of you know using the little grabbers like on the alt keyboard 2 you actually just swipe your thumb or finger or whatever over the actual keys of the keyboard and it even has settings that you can customize if you want to swipe over the space bar to position your cursor that is actually an option that you can choose so like I said guys we don't have any definite information on release dates or anything like that but we'll keep you posted let us know what you think in the comments are you going to spring for it when it comes to the app store do you think it's a good idea do you think it's a bad idea let us know in the comments please hit that thumbs up button share this video and keep coming back